Hey everyone, it's Tara. Um, this is actually my first video that I'm posting of myself talking on YouTube, so I kind of feel a little silly because I have this head wrap on and my cheeks are swollen, but I really, really wanted to do this video today. And um, I wish I would have done it about a week and a half ago, but I didn't get around to it and I didn't want to wait any longer, so I'm sorry that the quality is not that great, the background, it's, it's okay. But um, I just wanted to do this today. Um, it, today is the 10th day since I've had my buckle fat pad removal surgery. I had surgery on March 4th and what I wanted to make a video for was um, of just my experience. When I was researching this surgery, I went onto YouTube and I um, wanted to try and find videos of people's stories and experiences about this surgery, but I only found um, a couple. I didn't find that many, so I wanted to make this video f so if there's anybody else like me out there that is on YouTube wanting the surgery done and they go look for it, they can see my story. Um, keep in mind it's just my story. It you know, everybody reacts differently to anesthesia, everybody recovers differently, everybody's body's different, and so just keep in mind that it's just my story. Don't use this to answer any of your medical questions or concerns. Please make sure that you ask all your questions to um, your medical professional. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share my experience and my story. I This is actually my third cosmetic surgery. I've had the fat underneath my chin removed and I've had uh, a breast lift. So I am going to make a video about those as well. So if you want to hear about that, please subscribe to my channel and look for those to be posted soon. Um, I actually have a couple of other videos of, that are going to be in the works and if you're interested in any type of surgery, I think you'll really enjoy those as well. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to have the fat pad removed out of my cheeks because I just always felt like I had a big face. <laughs> and I know that's silly and a lot of people tell me that it's just all in my head, which I'm pretty sure most of it is, but I just... It was just a flaw that I didn't like, and I thought that this would help. And so, um, you know, my weight tends to fluctuate, and when I'm at my lowest weight, I still never slim down in my face. My face just does not go thin, and so that's the main reason why I wanted to get it done. So I'm excited to see my results. I'm actually really swollen right now, but I'm not as swollen as the first couple of days. So my, so I got my fat pad removed on March 4th. It was a Friday at 9.30 a.m. Now it was done with local anesthesia so I was awake but I was numb. So my doctor prescribed a milligram of Xanax that I had to take 45 minutes prior to surgery. So I took my Xanax about, about 8.45. My sister came and got me at 9. I went to the doctor's office at about 9.20 and I went back into the patient room about 9.30. He, my doctor came in and he marked me up with the black marker and he gave me the shots to numb my cheeks. And the numbing shots, they did not hurt at all. But it probably too didn't hurt because I was so relaxed with the Xanax. Now when I had my chin surgery, he gave me about, seven, about eight numbing sh shots to numb my chin um, all over my neck. And that hurt <laughs> really bad. That was probably the most pain I've ever felt in my entire life um, and I have two kids and that sh those shots really hurt but this one didn't and so I thought that was weird that was the only thing I was scared about I was not scared about the surgery at all I was only afraid of those numbing shots um, but no that didn't hurt as it, did, it just didn't hurt and I think though I was so relaxed from the Xanax and almost um, fallen asleep. I don't really even remember walking back into the surgical room. I think they may have either helped me or willed me. I honestly don't remember. Um, so laying in the surgical bed, I was out of it. I kind of vaguely remember him talking, but I have two, um, well, if you notice, if you've looked up other videos, you'll see that most buckle fat pad removal surgeries 
are done under general anesthesia and the surgeons take it, they make an incision on the inside of your cheek just above your gum and then they pull the fat out that way. Mine actually was just liposuctioned out so I have two incisions on each side of my head. I have one incision right here and then one behind my ear on both sides and it's so small that you can't even really see it and what I like about these um, the incision up here, I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's in my hairline, so you, you, it's not noticeable. And I'm not sure how well you can see this one, but I just have a little tiny mark just above my nail. And that's all the scarring I'm going to have. And so what the liposuction um, it does is, it reminds me of just the spit sucker at the dentist. So, um, but a tiny a much tinier one. Um, so he just makes the incision and he just, you know, just lipo it away. And um, he, um, it took maybe, well, and see what happened. It, well, so he took the fat out of both cheeks and then he injected some of it into my cheekbones um, to enhance my cheekbones. And so um, he showed me the tubes and there was about, there were four of them. So it was just the, you know, the little tubes, little vials, like when you get your blood drawn, um, there was four of them and, uh, they were full of fat and it was like, uh, it was liquefied. It was, uh, it was gross. It was, it looked like pink throw up, like pink, thick, chunky throw up. Um, and uh, I think it was probably pink because of the blood and then mixed with the fat. <clears throat> but yeah, it didn't look too pretty. But, um, and so after I was done, um, you know, it was a quick procedure. And after when I was done, I went out into the waiting room. And we walked over into the pharmacy at the medical building and to get my prescription. And my, my doctor just gave me some Lortab, um, five milligram, well, it's uh, five milligram of Norco. And so I was waiting for that. And while we were waiting in the pharmacy, I just all of a sudden got so thirsty. And so I had my sister get me a fountain drink. And I, um, I couldn't feel my face, of course, but so I kept trying to drink my drink and I could not get my mouth around the straw but I was so thirsty that I kept trying and so I um I finally got my mouth around the straw and then I sucked and then it just it didn't even go in my mouth at all just went all over I couldn't even drink and then on my way home I remember I I just wanted to lay down I just I could not wait to get home I just wanted to lay down and then I was really hungry on the way home too because I didn't eat that morning and so I made my sister stop and get a taco because that's for some reason a taco just sounded really good <laughs> after surgery and I couldn't even really eat it I couldn't even bite it I couldn't really open my mouth to eat it and um so then I got home and I just wanted to lay down I just wanted to sleep I think I slept most of Friday and most of Saturday I really wasn't in that much pain um I did take the Lortab though, and so um, I really didn't feel a whole lot of pain, but I really didn't take all my of my medication because I really didn't need it. Um, I So Friday and Saturday, you know, like I said, I was really swollen. I will post pictures. I was really swollen. I was just really tired and felt worn out. Sunday was the same. I just kind of relaxed all weekend. And Monday, um, <clears throat> Monday, I actually, and I've been able to eat fine. Friday was the only day that I couldn't really eat, but Saturday and Sunday, I could eat fine. Monday, I bit, my son gave me a peanut, and I bit the peanut and to crack the shell, and it like locked up my jaw. Like it hurt really, really bad, and I could not open my mouth. And so I just thought, uh-oh, I'm gonna have to be on this liquefied diet for um, the next couple of days. And so I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to eat. And so that night, I took my kids out to dinner because I wanted to eat one last, like good meal before I had to go on a liquid diet and we were sitting at the restaurant and I was trying to chew and I couldn't even chew because the back of my mouth was hurting so bad that I just I couldn't even eat but that was the only time that it was like that um the next day I was fine I, I could eat I never had to go on a liquid diet and I can I could chew just fine for the first five days I wore this wrap um all day and while I slept and all night and um I, with me, I wore the chin, I wore the strap um, for my chin as well, and I just, 
you know, when your swelling goes down, I just have this fear that my skin is gonna sag. And so I keep the compression on just to make my skin tight um, for when the swelling does go down. But, <clears throat> so I wore it for the first five days and then I went in for my follow-up appointment on Wednesday and I believe Wednesday was March 9th and my doctor took out my stitches. He told me that I only needed to wear the wrap um, now from now on while I was at home for about another week, a week and a half. So I didn't, I haven't had to wear it to work and I've just been wearing it after work but I haven't been sleeping with it. And um, the first couple of days I could not touch my face. It hurt to touch my face. It hurt to wash my face. Like I I can I can do this now, but like the first couple times I couldn't I couldn't touch it. Like it hurt so bad. Like that kind of hurts and it's all lumpy. Uh, and I can't really even smile fully yet. This is my first uh let's see. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can smile bigger, but I have like all these lumps right here. Um, oh, and a funny thing is, is I all of a sudden have this new dimple. Let me see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it right there. Right there, above my nail. Right there, above my nail. Um, I've never had that dimple before. I so I kind of I think I think it's gonna be kind of cute if it stays, but I'm wondering if I just have the dimple because I'm so swollen right here that. Um, I don't know. It's, it feels like the inside of my skin is like all just bunched up. But um, I naturally though, that's one question or that's one thing I wanted to tell you is I have, I have dimples. I have big, deep, natural dimples. And I was actually, one of my very first concerns was whether or not I was going to lose my dimples. Because if, if my doctor was going to tell me that I was going to lose my dimples, there's no way that I would have done the surgery. And um, he... He told me that I wouldn't, and so I went ahead with it. And I'm still really swollen, but when I do smile, I can see my dimples wanting to peek through. So I do have a feeling that they're still gonna be there. He said, if anything, that they might even come back deeper. Um, so that would actually be kind of cute too. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so like my skin right now, um, you know, it's gone down a lot. The first three days, you can barely touch your face. It hurts, you can barely touch it. You can't even really wash your face. Like I felt like every time I would wash my face, I felt like I was able to like scrub the top half of my head just fine. But down here, it was really soft. So I, um, I, I have my, I had my own little way of washing it. One of my favorite things to do is um, coconut oil facials um, with a warm washcloth and I am actually going to post another video and uh, tutorial on how to do that and that's what really helped me. So um, again, subscribe to my channel and you can see that video of my favorite products or my favorite coconut oil and my favorite way to cleanse my face without having to scrub it or without having to use um, <coughs> any other products. Um, so. Yeah, so Wednesday, sorry, back to Wednesday, so I got my stitches out, and my doctor told me to, um, I could start massaging my face, and so what he did is he went to show me how to massage it, and so he just kind of massaged right here, but that day, like, I, I really couldn't touch my face, so it hurt, and what I thought was weird is that night, I had the biggest migraine, and the next day, so I'm wondering if just the pressure from him massaging my face caused the migraine and then it went away and then I was fine um I went back well I went back to work on Wednesday I had taken uh Friday I I work weekends I have Monday and Tuesday off normally and so I had taken Friday Saturday and Sunday off um as vacation and then I had Monday and Tuesday off and then I went back to work on Wednesday and honestly um if I had to work Monday or Tuesday, I could have. Like, I, I was fine. I was fine to go back to work after the third day. The only thing you have to deal with is being swollen. And um, that's one thing that sucks is that you're going to be swollen for a long time. Like, I probably won't see results of my surgery in, for about another two months or so. Um, I My doctor told me that this week, well, this next coming week, um, so it would be my second week. 
he's like, oh, you'll probably look just like yourself before surgery. And then in the following weeks, you'll, st you'll slowly start to see um, the definition in your cheeks. He also told me that if I felt like I needed more fat sucked out or if I needed more injections, that he would do the surgery again. But honestly, I'm glad I had the surgery, but if I want a more out, just a little tiny bit more, I don't think it's worth it for me because I don't want to deal with that all over again and I don't want to deal with the swelling. It's one of those things where it's like, it sucks, but you know, just go in, get it done, get it over with, and then be done with it. Um, you know, I don't want to live being swollen for a couple months. So I have a feeling though that I, it is going to look great. My doctor actually told me that when he was done, he, you know, before I started to swell up, he could see the shape of my cheekbones and he said it looked really good and I really trust my doctor. He's done all my um, cosmetic surgeries. I think he's really good and so I trust his opinion and I'm hoping that it looks good and if not, I'll decide what I want to do from there but it's definitely not, I definitely don't want to be swollen longer for any, any more time. I, I don't want to be swollen longer than I have to be. Um, and so yeah, so it, for me, it was an easy surgery. Um, it, you know, it sucks. It's annoying wearing the wrap. I'm not going to lie. It, I wish I didn't have to wear it. It sometimes, I feel like it causes me a headache. I just, I hate it. <laughs> I really do hate wearing this. And I, you know, the first five days I did wear it, but when I went out in public or to my kids at school, I took it off. And, um, yeah, I just feel silly wearing it, and I, it's just annoying just knowing that something's right there. I don't like it, and then knowing that my cheeks are just so swollen, I don't like it either. Um, I uh, I was looking, and like, let's see, I'm really swollen. Um, you can kind of see, um, I don't even have a foundation on. I don't have highlighter on, um, but you can kind of see, well, see, you don't know what it looked like before, but you can kind of see right here is where my cheeks are gonna be. See, yeah, see up close, you can't really see it. See, I can't really smile. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, it's hard. Like, I can feel, so like, where he, where he injected my cheekbones, I can feel it. It starts, like, right here. Like, I can feel the fat that he put in there. It's all, wait, it starts right here. I can feel it right here. It starts right there. That's the fat that he put in. And on this side, Yep, uh, see it's a, it's still swollen, it's a big huge, right there is huge, it's just all right here. So that's the fat he took in, and then the fat he took out, see I'm all, uh, see so you can kind of see my dimples wanting to come in, but they're not, uh, I feel like a chipmunk. Um, my chin looks really good though, <laughs> um, yeah I just, I feel like a chipmunk. Um, so underneath my skin, I'm all lumpy, like right here. Right here's a big old lump, right here. Big old lump, and then this feels fine. And this is just, yeah, all right here is just lumpy. It just kind of feels like, I don't know if it's because when he was doing the wand, like pushing down on it, it just kind of feels like my skin is all, just all bunched up. But that's gonna, you know, that's why you massage it and then it will go away. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make a part two, so. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can look for part two in the next uh, couple of weeks. I actually want to do um, a, a video in a, I'll, I'll probably do one in another 10 days just to kind of show you an update on my face, but I really don't feel like I'm going to see full results for another month or two. And so definitely I'm, when I'm completely healed, I'm definitely going to do a part two video and I want to do, I love to highlight and contour and so I love makeup products and so I'm kind of excited um, to see what the contour looks like with um, my new cheeks and so that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I'll do my chin surgery soon. I'll talk about that and I'll talk about my breast lifts soon. I had both of those local anesthesia as well. I do plan on getting breast implants this year, so I'm also, at that time, I'm going to make a video for breast implants, and I am going to do a tummy tuck next year. I was actually going to do my tummy tuck this year, 
and I was ready to do it, ready to pay for it. Um, you know, I have two kids and I just woke up one day and I just had this strong feeling telling me, don't do your tummy tuck yet. And so it kind of makes me wonder if maybe one day I'm going to have another baby, but I really want my tummy tuck done. I've had a C-section, so I've had like that excess skin that working out cannot get rid of. And, um, yeah, I would like to have that done. And so definitely next year I'm going to hopefully have that, but I do have some friends that I'm going to hopefully make a video, um, with, about different surgeries just like I said anybody like me who wants to get something done I know you go to YouTube and you want to find someone's story and that's what I want to do for you is just tell my story so that you can kind of um, see that it's not that bad and yet you honestly don't have to be scared to do this surgery it was not a scary surgery at all and like I said the only thing that sucks is the swelling um, yeah, and so I hope you like this video, and I feel like my face is really huge right now. I'll take off my wrap. You don't really know what I looked like before, but, um, yeah, see, like, even my nail lady, when I went and got my nails done, um, she told me that this side, um, looked a lot bigger than this side. And it kind of feels like back here. It kind of feels like that too. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say is I didn't I didn't really bruise. Well, I did, but it was like yellow bruising. And so like it, all right here, um, it was probably it was Wednesday when I went back to work. All right here was yellow, like yellow bruises. And I didn't wear my wrap to work. And I really didn't tell a whole lot of people that I was getting this done. And because I really I don't know I just don't like to go around and tell people. Um, but, which is funny that I'm making a video, but honestly, it's our own bodies and we shouldn't care what anybody thinks. You know, when I got my chin done, I got a lot of crap from a lot of people, but you know, it's just something that we have to do. And if you're on watching this video, it's because you are wanting to get a surgery done too. So you know the feeling, you know what it's like wanting to get some type of surgery done. Um, but... What was funny is when I was at work, um, I told, this is funny, this side does look skinnier. Um, when I was at work, um, the girl next to me, she didn't know that I had a surgery done. And so she looked at me and she's like, is there a reason why you have bruises all over your face? And I was just like, yeah. So it, it was noticeable bruises if you were up close to me, but, um, they weren't red. They were just yellow and ugh, see, I'm all swollen. I'm kind of excited though because like I can notice even right now I can notice a difference in my cheekbones like especially this side like this side does look a lot less swollen you know what's funny though is I I cannot sleep on my back and so I keep I try not to sleep on my side but the only side that I sleep on is this side and so I'm wondering if like I do tend to roll on my side while I sleep and then it just kind of bunches up I don't know but this side is definitely bigger then, see, I've just always felt like I've had this wide face, but again, I am swollen, but yeah, this side looks cute though, but this side is always my better side. And um, what's funny is if you look at my Facebook, if you look at any of my pictures, ever since I was a teenager, in all my pictures, I'm like turned to the side and I'm like sticking my chin out <laughs> to avoid a double chin and avoid fat cheeks because I've just, it's just been a complex of mine. I've just always felt like I had it. Um, but yeah, so that's my story. So I'm so excited to show an updated video in a couple weeks and to show a final video. Um, I think it'll be fun and